Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Wanted to get on here today with skin, hair, and lifestyle favorites. And I'm gonna jump right into this. I have a bunch and I'm gonna start with hair. Okay, the first thing is this Redken Frizz Dismiss. This is so nice for taking down the frizz right after you blow dry. I blow dry my hair almost all the way dry. And then one pump of this, and this is an oil but it feels kind of like my Neem Leaf Plant Silk Serum. It's kind of more of a drier oil, not quite that dry. I can feel the oil in it. And then I put it through the ends of my hair and shoot it with the hair dryer and um, let that heat, you know, really soak that in good or make it soak in good. And this just takes the frizz down so much. So I don't have to flat iron it as much. It makes my hair feel really good and less frizzy, and I just really like it a lot. Okay, next, two products that were sent to me by a company that I am falling in love with, and that is Dermatology. I had this maybe on last month's favorite. I had their SPF. I think their SPF. Well, they sent me the Retinol Complex 0.5% and the Soothe and Recovery Cream. Okay, I was going to use these for longer before I put these in a favorites video, but I used the Retinol Complex 0.5%. This also has vitamin C and E in it, and I used this on my neck because I thought, oh, it's just a 0.5%. I can use that on my neck. Can you see? I have a red mark <laughs> where my neck is red and everything else is white, and I just went for laser and she could not do my neck because this had been so active I got a good active treatment on my neck with this. So I'm loving this. I can use this um, on my face on days off from Tretinoin and on my neck, you know, anytime it can stand it, <laughs> but it is so active. And this is more of a medical grade product, but it's $58. So that's quite a bit less than some others that you might compare it to. Like my, hang on. My Zio Skin Health, now this is a 1% retinol, and this is over $100. This one feels just as active, and it's $58. They also sent a Soothe and Recovery Cream, and this is a really nice moisturizer. Hold on, I'll tell you what that has in it. It has cactus extract, which has large amounts of linoleic acid, a fatty acid. Vitamin E, coconut fruit extract, yeast extract, which provides unparalleled hydrating, anti-aging, collagen producing, and skin brightening benefits. Vitamin E, allantoin, which helps heal the skin. Bazabitol, it's a resin obtained from chamomile that reduces inflammation, which is great, you know, to use with a retinol if it helps um, reduce inflammation. And panthenol. And the Soothe and Recovery Cream runs 39, and the retinol is 58. So I am loving both of those. Okay, next, I picked up a Diva fan or a handheld fan. And I, you know, I have always just kind of thought, do I need that? No, I do not need that. I can just fan myself with paper or, you know, whatever. But I saw Jackie Aina using one of these, and it just made me want one. And it was only a little over $10, and it's cute and pink and sits on this stand. I have fallen in love with this for several things. I just had in a recent video that I put on my eyelash primer in the morning. I'm so careful with this, you know, around my eyes because my eyes get irritated so easily. I put on a coat of my eyelash primer, let it dry, put the eyelash serum on, and then I fan it dry with this. And this has three settings, low, medium, high, it's like a wind tunnel. And when I'm drying my eyelash serum, I turn it on low. I turn it on low, so it's not like, you know, blowing into my eyes or anything, but I am loving this to dry my eyelash serum. I am also loving it for setting sprays, like the MAC Fix Plus that has, you know, more of a hearty spray. It's not like my Morphe that's fine as angel dust. This has, you know, more, more of a, you know, that's, it's got a pretty good spritz on it. I love to do that and then turn my fan on. It is so refreshing. I bet this is good at football games too. I will let y'all know in the fall. And it comes on this little cute stand. I just leave it sitting out here on my desk. I'm gonna love this in the summer. I'll spray a Ven Thermal 
or totally grape water in the middle of the day for a refreshing in the summer. That will be so nice. I love my little honey fan. Okay, next, another big love, and I have it sitting right over here on my desk, and I'm going to vlog it, but it is a tiered spice rack that's holding all of my foundations. Now, I have about... 20 to 30 foundations because I have a YouTube channel. You know, I like trying stuff and talking about it with y'all and knowing what other people are talking about. And honestly, I've gone foundation crazy. I love this. It is just keeping them right in front of me. I'm rotating through them and I'm going to vlog this. Okay, so this is my foundation organizer that I love. It's actually a tiered spice rack, but it's just perfect for my foundations. It came with this piece and screws and the little shelves, so I assembled it. It took probably 30 minutes, 15 to 30 minutes to put it together, and I just love it. It makes it so easy to see all my foundations, what I want to wear, and I have them organized from dewy to matte on each um, level, but you can organize it however you want. If you don't have this many foundations, I used to keep them in, hang on. I used to keep them in these little bamboo crates like I love. I keep skin skincare in this too. But I used to have three of these sitting on the desk and they looked really nice, but it just made it hard to see everything. But if I had less, you know, a normal amount of foundations, I would keep using that. But if you were like me and have a lot, I love this. So I will link this down below. It has made storing my foundations so much better. Okay, next, some more storage, and these are bamboo crates, and I have two different kinds, and I love them both. Okay, for several years, I have been buying little wooden crates from Bed Bath & Beyond, and I have loved them, but they're not that sturdy, which is fine. You know, they're usually sitting in a drawer, but I kind of carry mine around, and I'm kind of rough on mine, and I wanted some I could order on Amazon, and I found them, and I love these. This is a five-piece bamboo crate set, and it came in that size. I store backups in skincare in these, and so I got this size. That's highlighters in there. I got this little square size. It's got some concealers in it, and you know, but for whatever you want it for. And then I got some bigger ones, and you know, these would fit, you know, whatever you want to go in them, <laughs> but I love these bamboo crates. They feel nice and sturdy, and I, I just like to keep extras. Anytime I find something that needs some storage, I go grab one of these little bamboo crates, and I love them. And then I have another type of crate, and it's over here in the drawer, so I'm going to vlog that. I'm gonna take okay, and then my big bamboo crate is this organizer right here, and this is just such a nice organizer. It would be nice for anything, paper clips, thumbtacks, pens and pencils. It's just a nice organizer and I love this for my makeup. And one of the things I love about it is these little dividers come out and you can kind of resize them. But I am really enjoying this bamboo organizer. It's a big favorite. Okay, next, last year, or maybe in 2018, I had some soap dishes on several videos. Well, I have a renewed love for these soap dishes that I'm getting on Amazon because it's so hard to get my hands on any soap, any liquid soap. It's been hard. So I ordered these little soap dishes. I have black granite in my kitchen, so I ordered the black, and these are so nice on dark granite. And then my bathrooms are more of a cream color, so I got the cream, and then I got these soap lifts, and they keep they just keep the soap from getting that kind of slimy feel, and it stays so nice. And it looks nice just sitting on this. And then I just got, you know, some good dial soap that really kills some germs, which is what we need. And I have these sitting in the kitchen and in my bathrooms. And I will tell you, even in the rooms that I still have the pump soap, I'm reaching for this. I love this because it makes my hands feel so clean and sanitized right now. I love the aesthetic of these sitting around because these lifts keep the soap so nice. But I'm loving these soap dishes, the lift, and then just plain old dial soap for some good germ killing. Okay, next, I have another renewed passion, another renewed love for the sleeping mask. I have a renewed love for these because my husband put in some floodlights in the front yard 
It looked like a spaceship was landing in my room. So I got my sleeping masks out because I needed to block out the light. Y'all, my sleep, I would say improved by about two hours a night. A lot of times I'll wake up too early in the morning, but it's, you know, the, the light's kind of faintly coming through the blinds. Enough to keep me awake. I put this on, I'll sleep two more hours. This makes me go back to sleep and sleep about three more hours, and I sleep great through the night. Even if you don't have floodlights <laughs> coming through your front window, the lighting from electronics, filters in the air, we don't even realize sometimes the light that's in our room, this makes it, makes it pitch black. I don't know that I've ever been more passionate about these because my sleep was bad. With all the stress we've been going through, my sleep was horrible, and this has just, it's like magic. A definite renewed love for the sleeping mask. Hey okay, I was just editing this video and realized I left out one of my biggest favorites of several months, and this will probably be in my yearly favorites. I could not leave it out, and that is Kiss Nails. Y'all, these have been saving me. They've been saving a lot of us because if you were getting your nails done at the salon like I was, when they started growing off, it was a hot mess on my hands. And I had them dark and acrylic, so they looked horrible. And these Kiss Nails, they have saved me. And these are my favorites. The um, square, the square French manicure. And these look as good as at the salon and a lot of times better, because this is what I always wanted them to look like, and a lot of times they didn't do them like this. So these are the ones I like, and I'm going to link these. The number on them is 62278. So I'm gonna link these. These are my absolute favorites, and I put these on with super glue, because Ellis for Living had told me it lasts a lot longer with super glue. So I'll link my super glue I'm using, and the nails, I also ordered some short dark ones that are also really cute. So these are really cute too. They have all different colors and shapes. If you don't like the square, they've got the oval. I also got some buffing cubes and some acetone. And I will link, you know, everything you need. I'm also going to link a video Ellis for Living did on how she applies these. I went back and referenced her video and it helps me a lot. So I'm gonna link that down below and the kiss nails, but they're a big favorite, y'all. Okay, I have a couple of channels for you. Now, I do not usually put a favorite channel that is the same size as my own because I have so many friends with channels, but this channel is doing something really special right now that I think a lot of y'all might benefit from. And that is my friend Pages and Polish, Shannon at Pages and Polish. I always love her channel, but right now she's doing weekly readings of Emma of New Moon, I think they're called, but it wouldn't matter what book she's reading. Her voice is so soothing, and between her and my sleep mask, she kind of saved several nights of my sleep. Not kind of, she did. She put me to sleep on more than one night when the stress was getting to me and I was kind of jolting awake <laughs> with panic. I would turn Shannon on and listen to that and fall asleep. And sometimes I would wake up, you know, with more panic, turn her back on and listen to her until I fell asleep. And I would just do that until I fell into a deep enough sleep to stay asleep. If you are stressed with everything that's going on and you can't sleep, try that. Thank you so much for doing this, Shannon, and I hope y'all will visit her. You will fall in love with her. And then my other channel's on Instagram, and that is Stephanie Kappel. She's a dermatologist out of California, and I love her Instagram because every day at 12.30 my time, I think 2.30 her time because she's in California, she does live talks on skincare. You can has, ask her any question you want. She loves medical grade skincare. Her favorites are Elastin, which I also love, Zio Skin Health, which I also love, and Skin Better, which I haven't tried, but I do want to try. She has some very interesting products some over-the-counter retinols that are supposed to be as strong as tretinoin. She also loves laser, and I'm a fan of the laser. So I enjoy listening about the lasers that she does and her skincare. And if you have any questions, you can ask her. So love Stephanie Kappel. And then I have one spiritual item. So if you are not spiritual, you can click off now. And thank you so much for visiting me. 
I will tell y'all, I'm disappointed in myself that I don't have more spiritual. I would, but I had several false starts with books. I started several books that I'm really struggling with, and one of them is Seeking the Face of God. I love books about just seeking God's face, not for anything he can do for you, and just seeking his face, just to be close to him. Not what he can do for me, not his hand, but his face. This is really falling flat for me, y'all. This is really deep, and um, it's written by Martin Lloyd-Jones. So if you've ever read him, please let me know whether to keep on or put it down. Joyce Meyer talked about him, and he's long since passed. I think he wrote this probably in the 80s. Very theological, very deep, kind of C.S. Lewis type. And I love C.S. Lewis, but this, I don't know, this fell a little flat for me. So that fell flat, and then I also tried Fresh Wind, Fresh Fire by Jim Cimbala. This is about the people who started the Brooklyn Tabernacle Choir and Church and took it from destitute and empty to full. And I ought to love this. And I think it will be very inspiring, but I'm really having a hard time getting into it. So I'm still trying to read both of these books. They'll come back as favorites or you'll never see them again. <laughs> But that's why I don't have more. But I do have a big favorite, and it's a video, and it's Kanye West in an interview in his private jet on the James Corden show. And James Corden is really funny and very personable, and he interviews Kanye West on his plane, and his plane is full of his choir members, and occasionally they'll just start singing, and it's amazing. I love Kanye West's conversion, why he probably turned back to his faith. One of my favorite things in this whole video, he says of his life before when he was just, you know, partying and not close to God, he credits his conversion with praying women in his family, his grandmother, his mother, and he says, people prayed me through it. 20 years people prayed for me before I turned back to God. And I loved that because if you've got a child, if you've got children or grandchildren, you know, you know, some days it's touch and go and we never quit praying. And so I just loved that. He said his whole life, he had women praying for him. I found it so inspirational and I have linked it down below for you. And that's all I have for you. That's all my products, my spiritual things. And y'all definitely down below, let me know some things that you are loving. And that's all I have for you. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Leave comments and questions down below and I'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all have a good day. Bye.